This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Get a free copy of Altium software using the link provided in this video description. Thus, when you sign up for an Altium Designer free trial, you will get Altium 365 and 25% off discount. Welcome again to another video. In this video, we're going to design an automatic programmable 4.2 volts battery charge current up to 500 mA using LTH7R IC. So, the primary application of this board is for microphone battery, light camera, mobile phones, PDAs and MP3 players, and Bluetooth headset. First, we need to create a project. Click on File, New, then Project. Then this is where you can set the name and the folder in where you want to save your project. Next, we're going to create a schematic. Click on File, New, then Schematic. Then save it. Right click, then click Save. Input the file name. Then click Save. After that, we need to create also the library. Click again on File. Then new library, then schematic library. Save again the library. Set the file name. Then click on save. After that, PCB library, click new library, then PCB library. Save again the PCB library. For this schematic, we are going to use a library loader. So just click the library loader. And this is what I'm using, version 2.2. So we're just gonna copy the manufacturer part number and input here on the search bar. And it will automatically input in our schematic. So this is the bomb list. Here are all the components that we needed in order to complete the schematic. So we're just going to copy each manufacturer part number and paste it in the library loader. After pasting it in the search bar, click on search and wait for it to load. After you see the result, click the result and click add to design. Now you can see the component is added in the schematic. Now I'm going to change the comment in the properties. So I'm going to input in the comment the actual value and the package of the component. After that, don't forget to save your file. Now we can place the library in the schematic. Just click on schematic library panel and click place. Now it is much better that we set the comments on its value and package. After that, repeat the process in other components. Sometimes not all the components are available in the library loader, so we will need to create it manually. Like for this example, the U1 LTH7R IC is not available in the library loader, so we will need to create this manually. So to create this manually, just click on add on the schematic library panel and you can set here the design item ID then click OK. For this case, I have a created component. Just place pin, 
click on place then pin you can also add the body of the component or the library by clicking on place and rectangle and you can set also the properties of the pins after we're done for all the library just click on components and next we will need to add all the library in the schematic sheet so just drag each component in the schematic After you place all the library in the schematic sheet, we need to edit the size of the schematic sheet. So just click on properties and this is where we can set the width and the height of the schematic sheet. Next we're going to add wire for the connection. Just click on place, then wire. Then click it to the connection or the pins of the component. And click again to other end of the component in where it should be connected. After we finish the connection of the schematic, next we're going to add the power port. So the power port is applicable for the power nets and ground nets. So just click on place, then power ports. Then snap it to where it should be connected. Now we're done with the schematic. Next we're going to create a PCB. But before that, we need to save again the schematic, then perform validation. Right click on the project PCB and click on validate. After that, click on File, New, then PCB. After that, save the PCB created. Save it to the same folder. Then click on Save. After that, perform Engineering Change Order. Click on Design, then Update PCB, then click on Execute. Now. The components will automatically added on the PCB. We can start the placement by dragging the components inside the PCB. Next, we're going to define the board sheet. So there are many ways in defining a board sheet. So for this case, just press 1 on your keyboard. To activate this kind of view, then click on design and edit the board shape. So manually drag the line. Then press again 2 to go back to the previous view. Now we have a board shape. Now we can start with the routings. Just click on Route and click Interactive Routing. Now the remaining unrouted net are the ground. So we're going to add a polygon core for all the ground nets. So just click on place and line, then follow the board outline. After that, select the created line, then click on tools convert then create polygon from selected objects after that edit the properties of polygon by input the name ground and change the net by ground then click on polygon pours and repour all then click on solid on the properties then repour again
Now you can see the ground connection has been poured by the polygon. So we're done with the layout. And as you can see, here's the final PCB in 3D view. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned something from this video.